Hi everyone. When it comes to native wild plants, certainly one of my favorite species is the butterfly milkweed or butterfly weed. The Latin name is Asclepius tuberosa. It's just a gorgeous native plant with its bright orange flat topped clusters of flowers and its dark green lanceolate leaves that come up the stem and then end off in the beautiful cluster of orange flowers. We don't have a lot of flowers that are bright orange like this. As I mentioned, it's a native plant. That means it's found naturally in North America, as opposed to non-native plants that typically come from Europe or Asia. So this native milkweed, it's one of the milkweed flowers. It's found through much of the U.S. and out into southeastern Canada from Ontario, Quebec and part of the Maritimes. Shortly after we moved here to this farm, I planted one or two specimens of this up in this area and since then they've spread naturally throughout our upper pit area and even down towards the house. This particular plant likes fairly dry sandy soils, sandy loams, that kind of stuff. It can make do fine in more heavy soils as long as there's a lot of organic matter mixed in to make the soil freely draining and not saturated at any time. Uh, but it can do well in very droughty soils such as we have here. This is almost pure sand and every year they develop pods like most milkweeds. Long thin pods and then later in the fall they break open and release seeds with the parachutes just like the common milkweed, the non-native milkweed that parachutes seeds all over the place. Uh, so that's kind of a neat thing. It can readily establish itself if you have a wider area of land that you'd like to get it scattered within. It's doing a good job here. I've probably got 15 plants now that are just scattered all through here. I can count four or five right here in this little patch. So it's a nice plant that way. It's tough. It can make do in droughty, sandy soils, which is one of the reasons I got it for here. Here's an individual plant that established itself down in our pit itself that came right down from up in the upper area and established itself here under these trees. It's actually been getting grown over by this pine, but this year the gypsy moths uh, cleaned off this pine, so I think it may be dead now which probably is actually a good thing for the uh, milkweed because they like bright sunny conditions. They don't want to be in heavy shade or they'll just die off. One of the nice things, I mean there's a lot of nice things about this plant, but one of the really nice things is that they're highly attractive to butterflies as the name suggests, butterfly weed. Butterflies, insects of various type, bees, wasps, other insects, and they're very resistant to pests. Like most milkweeds, if you were to break a leaf or break a stem, you'd see a white sap come out of it. And this sap is toxic, and that's why monarch butterflies love to eat milkweeds, whether it's the non-native milkweed or the native types, such as butterfly weed or swamp milkweed is another one, the purple one that grows in swamps. They all have this toxic white sap in them and as the butterfly caterpillars ingest that they incorporate some of that toxicity into their own bodies and that's what helps prevent monarchs from being heavily predated upon by other creatures from birds to other insects. So this plant is attractive to a wide range of insects and it's resistant to being eaten. The stem is also quite bristly, which may help defend itself against herbivores of various types. So now we've got a plant that's beautiful to look at, drought resistant, quite weather tolerant, can be tolerant of very poor sandy soils, actually likes that kind of environment, and is resistant, hard to ask for anything more than that, and also highly beautiful. Not much of a smell, but can't have everything, I guess. Here's another large individual that established itself just in the side of our grass here. And it's quite tall. It's almost three feet tall. Another thing I forgot to mention about these is that 
they bloom for a good month before the flowers start to die off. Now obviously if you have it start to bloom in a real bad drought then the bloom period may be a little less but typically they last for a month and especially if you have a number of plants scattered around your property in different situations maybe some in a bit more shade than others then you can usually have them timed so some will be in bloom earlier and some will come in to bloom later so you get even a broader time period of seeing them in bloom another one that's in one of our gardens and it's getting hidden over now by this hydrangea so I probably should trim back the hydrangea another thing about these milkweeds they have a long root on them that straggles through the soil and they're not easy to move typically if you try to move them they will die or they'll peter out or do very poorly so try to get them situated in the place where you want them hopefully in the full open sun so there you have it Hope you've found some interesting facts out about the butterfly milkweed. It's a really beautiful native plant. It's readily available through seeds and seed factories, but the ideal situation would be that if you know where some is growing naturally in your area, in the wild, and you have access to lands where it grows and permission to collect seeds, you could try and collect the seeds in the late summer when they're just about to come out of the pods or when they're coming out of the pods, keep them over the winter in cold storage and then plant them in the following spring. You could also try and uh, just see your local area. There may be gardeners that are growing small seedlings from locally collected seeds. It's always best to get plants from locally collected seeds because those are genetically better adapted to your local area than maybe a seed source from half the country away or whatever so anyhow I think you'll find it uh, a very nice plant to have in your garden and as I said if you have a bigger area of land that you'd like to see it spread around in it'll do a pretty good job of that on its own just plant a few <clears throat> in your gardens and then they can spread from there naturally hope you give the butterfly milkweed a try it's a really nice plant